it's that time again when WPKM Live gives you the information for the day from the Media Center. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. I'm Spencer Strong. And I'm Sky Morris with a look at today's news. But first, let's all stay to join Ariana Winter for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ariana? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Well done, Abriana. Now let's join Fernando Rodriguez, who is in the WPKN Weather Studio, for a check on the weather. Fernando? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be mostly sunny with a 37% chance of rain with with the humidity at 68%. The wind will be blowing out west at 9 miles per hour. The high today will be 88 degrees with a low of 69 degrees. Have a great day. Now back to Anchor. Thank you, Fernando, for that informative weather update. For lunch today, incredible Romeo chefs are preparing for us a choice of tangerine chicken or wild butter sandwich with fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now here's Miss Parker and Miss Williams with today's Pioneer Minutes. Good morning, Miss Parker and Miss Williams. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss Williams. Good morning, Miss Parker. Good morning, everyone. It is a terrific Tuesday. We are going to start our day off this morning with buses. All right, buses today. Let's hear it for 3024, 3037, 3025, 3029, 3035, and 3026. Boys and girls, thank you for what you do to keep us safe. Congratulations, everyone, for following those school-wide expectations on the way home from school and back to school today. Hey, we have a contest going on in the library right now. We have these little slips of paper that you need to fill out for following, falling in love with reading. Once you put the book that you have read, the title of the book and the author, you can enter this slip into this beautiful orange box that Miss Williams is going to model for you in the library. And we will draw that student's name for the possibility of winning an... Say it one more time. Mrs. Uh, Heidevik, our MEA building president, will draw a name to win a gift card. Okay, so thanks to the MEA for sponsoring Falling in Love with Reading. So boys and girls, it could be you who wins that gift card. So make sure that you're filling out those slips with the name of, and of the book and the author, as well as your name. And teachers, those slips are going to be available um, in the library, and we might put some in the um, mail room for you for easy access as well. All right, I'm getting lots of direction. All right, um, Mrs. Williams, what do you know that is going on today? I know that we are finishing up FSA science, your favorite subject. Right, boys and girls, we have had so much fun with science this year. Lots of hands-on experiences. I loved working with you during the science fair. You are ready for this. Take your time, read, and use your skills. We also have third grade SAT 10 going on. So boys and girls, in building three, make sure we're super quiet as our third graders work hard to get to fourth grade. Awesome. One more, ex another chance for third graders to demonstrate that they are ready to be in the fourth grade. Show what you know, boys and girls. Do your best. Today is a reflex celebration day. Usually it would be I ready, but I'm going with reflex because that's what we've got. And for Miss Darnell's class, we have 1, 128,000 total facts solved. Jamie Rodriguez has 10,000 total facts solved. Levi Bunch has 10,000 total facts solved. Kylie Thomas, 10,000 total facts solved. Josue Rivera, 12,500 total facts solved. Mason Martinez Lopez, 12,500 facts. Ayla Schumann, 12,500 facts. And Esmeralda Antonio, 12,500 total facts solved. Now I have from Miss Holland and Miss Curiel's classes. I have Lucifin Herrera Cano, who is 100% fluent with the multiplication and division all the way through 12. So congratulations, Lucifin. Miss Holland and Miss Curiel's classes, Mrs. Williams, have solved 540,000 total facts. Strong math students. That is really great, guys. You're halfway to a million. That's really impressive. Ethan Ripito has 4,000 total facts solved. Daniel Angel Mendez and Chloe Effinger, 
5,000 total facts solved. Brittany Hernandez Rodriguez and Michael Sneed, 7,500 total facts solved. Jorge Rod Hernandez, Shania Burks, and Jasmine Maciel, 12,500 total facts solved. Lucifer Herrera Cano and Mason Fasleone, 17,500 facts solved. And Christian Hool, 22,500 total facts solved. Congratulations to all you math wizards out there. We are really proud of you for your accomplishments on Reflex. Ms. Williams, do we have a unique schedule today that we're following? We do. We are on that. So uh, teachers, please look for uh, specials and lunch. Uh, we will begin testing at 830. Boys and girls, remember, just another reminder, walk silently. Teachers and staff, do not forget at 2.15 today in our cafeteria, we do have a really brief faculty meeting. Uh, please make sure that you come by. Uh, teachers are expected. Uh, all staff are invited. So please stop by the cafeteria at 2.15 this afternoon. All right, for words of wisdom today. What does it mean to be a person of character? It means being a person who's respectful, respected for his or her honesty and the strength it takes to make the right choices. So where does character come from? Are we born with it? Do we get character from our parents? Listen to these words. Character is in inherited. One builds it daily by the way one thinks and acts. Thought by thought, action by action. So what does that mean? It means that every time you think and act in a way that is honest, kind, and fair, you are building character, thought by thought, and action by action. Today, be a person of character and try your best to make wise choices. Everyone, let's have a terrific Tuesday. You can make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Be sure to join us again tomorrow for the news that kids can count on to start their day. And I'm Sky Mullins. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now.